everybody, it's Whoa, It's a Girl, and today we will be playing Terraria, which is a new gem that I have discovered. Um, it's been around for actually quite some time, so it's not very new, but it's new to me. So we'll be kind of going through this experience and learning together. I just have a little bit of a basic knowledge of the game, so let's get started. We're going to do a single player. Um, this is actually, this isn't my account that we're doing today. This is actually my husband's account, but we'll be creating something new. So what's really cool about Terraria is... The limits, they're endless. They really, really are. Um, your hair, you can make your hair, your skin, your eyes, your clothes. They can be normal colors that you'd see on everyday people, or they can be way out there and be funky. So today we're just going to kind of show some of the more extremes of the, the character creation. So here we have, we're gonna, let's do the blue hair because, you know, that's kind of cool. He's going to be kind of like a punk, punk rocker type. We're going to give him some pretty purple eyes. And uh, let's make them a little bit more purple and make them really kind of light so they're almost pink, even though you can't really tell. <laughs> Skin. Let's see. You know what? Let's make them kind of like an alien. There we go. Because it's a little more green. Make it nice and funky. And clothes. Uh, we'll do kind of a dark, dark blue shirt. And undershirt. Let's do kind of a light green. Our pants. Let's do yellow because that's fun. And styles. So, oh, okay. So that one's a little more covered. A little less covered. And oh, ladies, look it. You can wear a dress. <laughs> but um, we'll be exploring, so I don't think a dress would be pretty practical. So let's stick with that one. That one's kind of cool. And our difficulty. So with softcore, um, you drop money when you die. So you won't lose your health. So if you've gotten more health and you've advanced in the game, when you die, you don't lose that. Um, medium is when you die, you drop your items. Um, but they don't disappear very fast, if at all. Um, so we've had it where we've died and then we didn't get back to the items until like five minutes later and everything was pretty much all there. So that was really cool about this setting. And then there's hardcore where, well, when you die, you're kind of done. So I don't really feel like dying today. So we're going to stick with medium. And we're going to create this. And oh, yeah, we have to enter a name. Well, let's go with my name. Beautiful. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to play it, and we're going to create a new world. So well, you can choose a smaller medium size. Personally, I enjoy the large size because it's just more that you can, you can explore and experience. Um, I'm not at expert level, so we're just going to stick with uh, normal. And we're going to call this Awesome Sauce. There we go. Wonderful, wonderful. So basically, when you first spawn, um, you don't really have much. You have your basic materials, such as your sword and your pickaxe and your axe. So one of the first things you're going to want to do when you spawn is you're going to want to create a shelter right away. And it doesn't have to be anything elaborate. Um, find some trees, chop them down, and just build yourself a small little shelter area. You won't really have any furniture or anything right away. But once you have wood, you can actually start creating furniture. Uh, basically, in order to create the torches, there's going to be monsters are what that are called slimes. And they come in all different colors. Um, there's like the green and blue ones, which are the easiest slimes to kill. There's also ones, um, there's orange and red and purple. Purple's pretty difficult. And then there's even pink ones. And those are kind of like the boss slimes. So they're rather difficult to beat for a slime. Um, and those are called pinkies. Oh, look at that. It spawned already. So we're going to go ahead and load it up. But what happens is once you uh, get your trees chopped, you can actually take some of that gel and turn it into torches. So we're going to start chopping some trees right away. Awesome. And then this here is Cole. He's kind of like the guide of the game. To be perfectly honest, though, he's completely and utterly useless. <laughs> uh, he pretty much just stands there and... All he'll tell you to do is just get ready for right for night. 
And if there's like a zombie, occasionally he'll show something. Oh, look, and here's a slime. So, oh, we're going to get out the sword. Oh, shit. <laughs> we're just going to kind of get rid of the slime. Oh, no. Oh, I'm so bad at this. So now I got some coins, too, but I'm not going to worry about making torches right now. My first priority is going to be to make a shelter. There we go. So what's really cool about this game is there's really there's really a lot that you can do. Um, you can just work on building your building your fortress, making it cool and elaborate, and or you can go exploring. Um, what's cool about Terraria that makes it kind of unique, in my opinion, is that you can go exploring both below you and above you. And I know a lot of you are probably saying, "Well, how can you get above you? You know, you can't even get that high." Um, throughout the game, you'll actually come into contact with different potions and stuff that you find. You can also create them if you have the proper materials. Oh, no. Get them. And <laughs> that was pretty easy. Um, but you can get these potions, and what they do is they actually kind of give you the ability to fly. And you can go up in the sky, and they actually have these secret, secret floating islands. And you can get special stuff from there, which is really kind of cool. Um, during the game, there's actually different um, environmental areas that you can play in. So like right now, we're kind of in like a green pasture area, lots of trees, lots of flowers. They have like an ice underneath the ground. They have um, an ocean on each side. There's going to be, oh shoot, wrong weapon. <laughs> My bad. Um, there's going to be oceans. There's going to be uh, red kind of demon type zones and sandstones and it's all kind of cool. So I'm just going to build it right here. So I'm going to use my wood and we are going to make a workbench. We're just going to kind of plant that down right there. Okay, so once we have the wood bench down right here, um, as long as we're near it, see like right here on this left hand side of the screen, all these things pop up. But once we go away from it, we can't. So we go here and I'm going to create, get a whole bunch of walls and right click, get a whole bunch of them. Let's do 60 or something like that. Okay, so now that I have these, oh crap, more slime. <laughs> We're just going to make a small little shelter. So this is going to be like my first priority is we're just going to do the walls and fill them up back here. And these are really important um, because even if you have walls on your house on the side, if you don't have them behind you, monsters, oh crap, <laughs> monsters can spawn. So, oh, wrong one. Oh, I don't even know. Whatever. Um, monsters can and will spawn in your house. Oh no, I'm doing so bad at this, guys. I'm sorry. <laughs> Let's do some more. There we go. Okay, so we'll finish putting this up here. And for um, a little dude, he's certainly got some reach. So I'm going to get this wall set up. And you can see that it's about midday, so I got plenty of time. And then I'm going to put some walls up. There we go. Almost there. And I'll build doors in a second. Oops. There we go. Okay. So now that I'm next to the workbench, I'm going to build a door. And because I have some gel from the slimes, I'm actually able to make torches. So I'm going to make a whole bunch of torches. And we'll do another door so we can have it on the other side as well. Wonderful. Okay. Oops, wrong one. So we're going to use our pickpacks to get rid of this. I'm going to put down a door here. And we're going to put down another door here. And you don't have to worry about um, monsters or anything getting in unless you're more advanced in the game and it's a special event. Typically, they won't be able to open up the doors, so you'll be pretty safe in here. Um, we'll put another torch here because it's prettier. And then... So right now I don't really have any armor, so if I wanted to use some of my wood, I can actually go and create armor, but I don't feel like... Oh no, the poor little squirrel got destroyed by the slime ball. That's not very nice. <laughs> oh no, I'm really bad. 
get him. Die. There we go. So I got three copper. I'm rich. I got 16 now. So, oh, look, mushrooms. Very cool. So I'm going to do a little, just a tiny bit of exploring. Um, see what we can find here. Nothing super useful. But, but, oh, look, we have ore. Okay. So we have some lead. I'm just going to kind of mine a little bit of this. Get a little bit of this stone and a little bit of this lead. Hopefully we can make some, uh, make some armor out of it. But we're going to do a little more exploring. So you'll see these little critters randomly. Um, oh, look at the cute little squirrel. Boom. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Um, you can eat them. You can sell them. They're actually worth quite a lot. I was surprised. I think like one squirrel's worth five copper. Oh, look at that. A chest already? Ah, so cool. Okay. So what do we got here? We got claws. Hell yeah. So what I can do is I can take these claws and actually put them on me. And it'll cause me to, to climb things and stick to vertical walls. So potions and awesome. We're going to loot it and we're going to steal it. Because why not? So what's cool about Terraria is typically when you're underground, you'll get a lot of, um, a lot of enemies that spawn. I mean, that's just to be expected. Um, but when you're above ground, typically they don't spawn until nighttime, which is really kind of cool. So it gives you enough time to kind of build a shelter and get some supplies ready um, before the, the enemies spawn. But, you know, there are random events that happen. You know, there's uh, blood moons where all these creepy creatures come alive and they attack you. And, oh no, it's a blue spline. So this guy's a little more difficult. Oh no! A little bit more difficult than the green one, but if you can time it right, he'll jump right over you. And you do get more gold, which is awesome. Um, there's also another random event where they have slime balls that rain from the sky for a period of time. And that's pretty cool because it's just like giant globs of gel just chilling, coming from the sky. So that's pretty fun. But yeah, it's um, pretty cool. Oh no, I can't double jump. Ah. Okay, so, well... We're just going to kind of go this way. <laughs> so there's not much this way that I want to deal with right now. Got some more tin. Oh, look at all the pretty flowers. See if there's anything in the bush. Oh, look at worms. Boom. Um, if I had a fishing net, I could actually capture the worms. And I can either sell them or I could actually use them for bait for fishing. Typically, um, you'll find them behind these little items. Another slime ball. Oh no. Don't hop over me. There we go. <laughs> Ooh, what is this over here? This looks like tin. Am I right? Oh, look at that. So, hopefully if I get enough of this, I'll be able to turn it actually into armor. Which is... Would be great. Because right now, I am completely weak. <laughs> there we go. And right here is a blue jay. Oh no. <laughs> That's okay. Um, one of the things I really don't like, though, is the trees, they take forever to grow. I mean, honestly, it's just ridiculous. And you would think if you left, like, the stump, it would continue to grow, but it really doesn't. <laughs> oh, it looks like it's becoming nighttime. No big deal. Because we're awesome. Boom! Take that green slime. Oh, no. Don't kill me. <laughs> so, fun stuff, but... I know one of my favorite things about the game is just each different map and world is completely unique in and of itself. So it's always cool and interesting to see what you find. And about the housing, what's kind of cool is you can create um, different rooms. And depending on how many rooms you have, you can actually get NPCs that will spawn and they'll actually live in your community. So a lot of them will end up being um, some type of merchant in some way, shape, or form, whether that's, you know, dyes to dye your armor, your clothing, or whether they're construction, where they have, like, paint for, like, your walls, or dynamite or weapons dealer. Um, it all comes in handy. Plus, if you ever get under attacked, um, they'll actually help ward off 
the zombies or whatever monster is trying to kill you. So that's pretty sweet. Oh, and it's dark time, so I should probably be making my way back to the hut. Take that, blue slime. Ha ha. So, um, but when you build these extra rooms for these NPCs, they have to be a certain size. So you can't just have this tiny little squalor room with like nothing in it. You have to have a room that's a semi-decent size, kind of like around the size that I built. Um, oh, no, green slime. Ah. And it has to have, I believe it has to have at least a table and a chair for it to be considered like a living safe space. Otherwise they won't spawn there. And I don't think there's a cap to how many you can have. Oh no, demon. Ah! Cody, you suck. Don't abandon me. Come help me. <laughs> Some helpful guide you are. Leave me to fend for myself against this eyeball. It's creepy. Haha, -ha, take that. <laughs> oh no, don't come at me. Oh god, this guy's useless. <laughs> I'm gonna die, I'm gonna die. We're just gonna kind of take refuge. Oh no, I can't get in there. Oh no, I died. I couldn't get in because the grass was a little too high. Oh no. <laughs> well, luckily all my crap's here. So we'll just kind of take care of him real quick. And we'll be sure to... What is this? Whoa, it's the girl's entrails were ripped out by demon die. Oh my god, is that a zombie? Ah! That's so, like, graphic. <laughs> oh my god, that's so creepy. It's like an old man breathing in your ear. Take that, zombie. Ha ha. Stab, stab. So the zombies um, actually kind of all look different. Like, oh, look at this guy. He's wearing a slime on his face. That's, that's just weird. But, um, yeah, sometimes they'll be wearing, like, helmets or raincoats or you know all sorts of weird stuff so it's kind of fun sometimes they'll drop what they're wearing sometimes they won't um it all kind of depends oh take a mushroom oh this guy kind of looks like zombie beethoven or something i don't know look at that hair step step take that ha ha oh no don't kill me <laughs> ha ha and again he's just sitting here completely and utterly useless So we're just going to kill some more zombies. Ha ha. Look at my one point hits. <laughs> so useless. Oh no, I killed the squirrel. Oh, I'm a bad person. I didn't mean to. Oh god, I'm going to die. I'm going to die. Not until I finish this zombie. Ha ha. Well, we're going to go back inside right now because I'm almost dead. So me and Cole are just going to kind of chill because he's useless and he can go away. But see, zombies can't get in, so I'm completely safe. So what I want to do is I'm going to create, see if I can... Nope, I don't really have anything that will allow me to create any good armor. So we're just going to kind of sit here. That's it for today, guys. Thanks for watching. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. Again, this is Whoa, It's a Girl. Have a great day.